Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey, and we are back here today in another video. What I want to do today is go over the City Skylines Airports DLC screenshots that were released by City Skylines. And I just want to go over those screenshots because they show a lot more details in the daylight versus the trailer, which had a lot of dark and nighttime video. So let's get started with those screenshots. So guys, this is screenshot number one, and they have 15, but I don't think we're going to go over all 15. But for screenshot number one is you see smack dab in the middle of the screen, you see an international terminal. Now, why do you think I think that? Well, I see a Boeing 747, which is smack dab in the middle of the screen. Then slightly to the left of that, I see an A380. Those planes are notorious for international travel. And you can also be like, well, how do you know that? Well, if you look at the jet bridges on the actual international um, terminal itself, you can see that there are three. So it's at, look at the bottom left. There is a really good example. There's three different jetways that will come out and attach to the aircraft. Those are mainly for bigger planes like an A380 or 747. So let's keep going through the screenshot. What else I found? Now, if you look at the top left, now a lot of people on PS4 consoles in the comments be before, they're like, well, I don't like, this is gonna take the whole terminal. I hope they have a smaller terminal that I can add to my, you know, council cities. And if you look to the left, the top left is, I believe that is the regional terminal. What I, why I think that is because um, you could see that there are small, there is a, one smaller plane, it looks like an A320, that is kind of looking like it's going to either be taking off or it's going to be, um, it's going to be arriving. So I think that is the smaller international terminal that we were, that people are thinking about or talking about before. Um, that, you know what, if you do have a council or have a smaller airport this this might be your best bet then the last thing you can notice in this screenshot is to the top right if you look to the top right you have planes sitting on a plane stand now are those just props or just there for decoration to look pretty i'm not really sure because um the, the airport cargo um side of the airport is over there so it could be for cargo but you don't see any you don't see any cargo like trucks or anything going up to those planes so those might just be plane stands where, where planes are just standing there and kind of looking pretty so that that's all i get out of screenshot number one if you have anything else that you can let me know about in the comment section below let me know what you think of screenshot number one um, there also is a regional plane on the left you can see it on the plane stand it is a small regional jet so it's an rj and um, you know, there's the plane stand itself. So again, that is all I see on screenshot number one. Let's keep going. So I fast forwarded to screenshot number four and I, during my frame by frame review, I mentioned that one of the angles, it looked like that there is a multi-level airport. And as you can tell, I was correct. So confirmed. And you can see at the top is the departures and at the bottom is the arrivals. And you can also see the Airport Express working on the terminal itself. So it's really cool. You have one dedicated area where people are departing. Then you have another area where it's arrivals, just like a real airport. Very cool slide. If you guys see anything else that I missed on this screenshot, please let me know. But everything else seems to, it seems to be okay. And it's, you know, that's all I see in this screenshot. So this is the third screenshot I would actually like to review. Um, I think this is a fully... In, this is the full airport potential of the new City Skylines Airport DLC. I think this is the biggest you could possibly make it. I think this is your international terminal. You can see it at the top of the screen. You can see in the middle is more of your regional airport, but you can see that international terminal, terminal at the top. Um, you can also see to the right the cargo there there that is your cargo building or that is where your cargo will be handled um, What I remember when I mentioned earlier in the first screenshot was the the plane stand and there You know, I didn't think it was necessary for cargo Well, if you look to the right that the cargo transport or the cargo airport area it does have vehicles on in in and around the plane stand so it just kind of shows you that there might be vehicles that come to the um, cargo airplanes and kind of, you know, 
take the cargo out of the airplanes. You know, just something a little bit animation wise to show that. And, you know, to the right, like I said, um, that definitely is the cargo area. And then at the bottom left, you can see the museum airport. I was, well, I don't think it's a museum airport. I think it is an airplane museum. Just like they have boats, they have a boat museum. Just like they have a train museum, finally we're at an airp airplane museum. Then one of the last things you'll notice is if you look on that big U-shaped terminal, I believe that there is an airport, or airport, there is a hotel connected to the airport, as you can tell, and then there's also one thing that I, during my review I was very adamant about was you can see that there's two giant oil drums or f fuel drums. I think you're going to have to provide, I think each of your terminals are going to need some sort of refueling oil drum essentially like i i don't know how to explain what those are but those are giant massive fuel tanks and it showed during the trailer that there were trucks that that kind of went into that those oil tanks and kind of you know so you're able to refuel your planes and i think that's definitely going to be a key part in upgrading your airport so for the next slide you see the first time that they've shared with us what the cargo terminal looks like now it definitely has a big upgrade from last year's video or last year's video the previous dlcs and it does look like it got an upgrade and you can actually see the trucks that are um at the terminal itself now we don't know if these trucks can leave or come in and kind of park like they kind of do with the current current cargo terminal but I'm not really sure, but you know, that's what I see. If you guys see anything else in this screenshot, please let me know. I really don't see anything else. Um, if you look at the top right, those hangers, we still don't know what those hangers do. And you can see that there's nothing in the hangers, so I really have no idea. That if, if we know what the hangers could do, that would be great. But that's all I see for this screenshot, so let's keep going. Okay guys, so for the next screenshot we see a few different things we see now oh we get something new so see the see the train it is specifically labeled you can you can kind of see it that it is a metro express and so you might have to have a dedicated line coming to and from the airport instead of just using your normal train lines you might have to use a specific metro train track or a specific metro train just to get access to the airport then also to the top right you do see a beautiful your first beautiful close-up glimpse of the 747 it looks fantastic um really good graphics then at the top you can kind of see two regional planes landing uh, one is already landed and the other is in the process of landing very cool stuff definitely re I, I really do like that there are different airport types in this um in this DLC or airplane, wow, did I say airport? Airplane type um, in this DLC, it it's gonna look really cool. I'm very happy with this so far. So like I initially confirmed in the original trailer review uh, that there would be an airport express. Well, this is the airport express bus station. Now, obviously you can see it at the top right. It is literally explained that, but that means you're gonna only be able to use the airport buses connecting to this station. You're not gonna be able to use normal buses. So I find that really interesting that you kind of have to use it like a bus hub where you're not, but you can't use normal buses. You have to use the airport express buses only. So um, if you guys see anything else in this screenshot, that's all I see. I think this terminal looks fantastic. They even have escalators or stairs. They, they put in a lot of detail and, I, and obviously you don't see people walking up and down so far, but it's really cool just to see it in motion. And actually, if you see, there, there is a guy in green, one guy in green waiting. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's keep going. So for this screenshot, you see the Airport International. So an international airport. They do have a new international airport. As you can tell, it kind of, I believe this is the one that's actually in the trailer. When it's dark out, I think this is the one that they show. Um, again, it is a multi-level departures and arrivals. So that seems to be a new thing for the City Skylines Airport DLC and it just it, it looks really cool and again it is a big airport so this is kind of concerning for anybody that plays on xbox or ps4 or any other systems besides pc where you can use the 81 tile mod to unlock everything so this is you know this is a huge airport right here so we'll see 
how much customization you can actually do to this airport but overall it looks cool it's just huge so here's just another angle of the international airport um it, again you can tell this airport is just freaking massive so again if you do play on i'm, I'm not going to repeat myself what i said in the last slide but it's just another cool view of the terminal itself and you know we're just going to keep going through the screenshots but again this looks awesome so for the last screenshot release you can see that there is a dc 10 um it looks like a different version of fedex i know it does not say fedex it says something else x but it that must be their cargo name that's their name for their cargo airplane service or their air service so instead of fedex or ups they're using something x whatever it's just a knockoff fedex anyways you can tell that there's a dc 10 um this just shows that there will be a progressive plane being used for the cargo airports and that you know i'm assuming the antonov which was shown in the trailer itself i'm assuming that that is probably the maxed out level and a dc 10 is one of those that is getting up there like you're upgrading it so i don't see anything else in this screenshot but that was the last screenshot that you know just showed anything to do with the new city skylines airports dlc Please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. I think the main issue that we're going to have with this DLC is that it is massive. So if you're on PS4 and Xbox, you might be held back and you might not be able to build. It might take an entire tile to build the airport. But let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit that like button. Please leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.